Hi guys, today we will be talking about how to prepare for NEET MDS in the last 5 to 6 months. It's probably starting from July to November, keeping uh, a track that the exam could be in December. So in this video, we'll understand three different timetable schedules that can best suit you to go ahead and prepare for NEET MDS. So uh, one important thing that you have to remember here is the preparation is slightly different when compared to the preparation of somebody who was doing since one year so let us understand all these things go ahead and watch the whole video hi guys and welcome back to my channel i am dr noor saira an adontist and a part-time youtuber i make youtube videos on exam strategies productivity habits and some amount of neat mds guidance so let us go ahead and understand the topic of today that is how to prepare for neat mds in the last five to six months well the first thing like i was telling you it's important to understand the difference between you preparing for one year and you preparing in the last six months now somebody who will be preparing for one year will have to indulge in a textbook uh, a lot when compared to the mcqs because that's how they take the advantage of one year preparation is that they study the textbook material and then they go ahead with the synopsis and then they go with the mcqs but somebody who is just preparing for the last six months there's not enough time for you to cover up the textbook as well as the synopsis as well as the mcqs so do not overburden yourself though there is a limitation and you have to best utilize the limitation and the best way to utilize this limitation is read the synopsis well uh, solve your MCQs and see what kind of questions are commonly repeated. They have repeated again and again. There will be some important topics which are aghast again and again, again and again, and again and again. For example, uh, odontogenic keratocyst is asked a lot. So these kind of questions, you have to go back and read them from the textbooks. You have to be very selective in what you read and you will have to finish one subject a week. And this is a way how you will be able to cover your portions up till uh, October end. And then the whole month of November will be completely based for revision. One entire month for revision of your entire dental pulse. Okay. Uh, it, keeping in mind that the exam might be in December. So let's move forward and understand the three strategies that can be useful for you. Depending upon what you are as a person and how it is feasible for you to apply which strategy. So I'm going to go to provide you three schedules. One schedule where you're going to alternate the basic subject with the clinical subject. One schedule where we're going to alternate it one uh, easy and one tough subject and one schedule where you will uh, use the similar subject advantage. So let's move forward and see the timetable that will best suit you. So let us go ahead and see the three strategies that you can have to complete the portions for NEET MDS. So just to remind you that you will not be able to complete the entire portions, but what is the preparation strategy to prepare for NEET MDS in the last five to six months? So we can have three strategies. The first one is you either alternate the subjects with the clinical subject. That is, you can give one week to one subject and uh, you have to alternate it with the clinical subject so if you're doing anatomy on the first week you pick up any clinical subject that you like which is pedo or in the third week again you go ahead with an, in a basic subject and the fourth week you go ahead with the uh, clinical subject now with this alternation uh, you are going to be maintaining a balance between the basic and the clinical subjects also the moment you finish the uh, a basic subject and one clinical subject from the third week onwards you can also start with the revision of what you have finished in the previous two weeks that is the day when you are doing a basic subject you can go ahead and revise a clinical subject and the day when you are doing a clinical subject you can go ahead and revise a basic subject so by doing this method of finishing one subject a week uh, by October end you will be able to finish the portions of all of all the all, all the subjects once and uh, by November uh, the whole month of November you will be having for revision but you will see in the chart that oral pathology oral medicine which also includes radiology is not included here because it's a very very vast subject and it will not be wise to take it up at once and set it all together and study it out so the best way to study oral pathology and oral med is to keep it you know, keep doing one one concept every day uh, of, or just keep aside one one and a half hours every single day that way you will be reducing the burden and you will be able to cover all the portions once so that is the best strategy to have um when it when when in 
when you're talking about the oral pathology or the oral med topic because it's it's very very huge and you will be wasting a lot of time if you just take it at once and sit down so it's better to divide it over the days so this is the first strategy the second strategy is you can alternate it with a clean you know easier subject because if you're getting exhausted with one difficult subject the next week you can pick up an easier subject so in case you're able to finish it earlier uh, if, if you're able to finish the easier subject earlier then you have some time saved which you can use to complete the difficult subject for example anatomy and then followed by physiology uh, which is comparatively a little easier topic when compared to anatomy then you can pick up biochem which is very difficult to remember and to understand which takes a lot amount of time hence you can dedicate some a little more amount of time there and similarly uh, by October end, you will be able to finish this uh, uh, portions and then you have the entire month of November for revisions and oral pathology and oral med will be uh, for one and a half hours every day. And the third strategy is use similar subject advantage. For example, when you're studying anatomy, we know anatomy is very closely related to general surgery and oral surgery. If you're somebody who will not get bored with the same subject and want to take the advantage of that, then you can combine the similar subjects and finish of the portions then and there. Similarly, a little bit of biochem and pharma are related. You can utilize those subjects or maybe you can utilize microbiology and pharma together and otherwise ortho and pedo go together. Uh, no, Conzo, endo, dental materials, prosthodontics, all this goes together. Uh, general medicine, microbiology, pathology, all this goes together. So you can have a combination of these subjects or you, you can choose any one of the strategies that we have mentioned, either clinical subject alternate, easy subject alternate, or you can take a similar subject advantage. So this is the three strategies which I think will work for uh, preparation of NEAT MDS in the last uh, five to six months. Uh, um, you have to remember for the fact that one month before the examination definitely has to be pure, pure revision. Uh, you cannot sit down and take a subject at that time. So it's best to finish off everything by October and November when one entire month will be for revision. So this is how you will prepare for NEAT MDS in the last five to six months. So this was the plan guys, uh, so I hope you find these uh, three timetables pretty useful. If you have any other queries related to NEAT MDS, you can always leave me a comment. I will uh, go back, do my research and come back and give you the best available strategy or best available you know, guidance for that. Also go ahead and watch the NEAT MDS playlist which I will link it down up here or below somewhere and you can go ahead and watch that it has a lot of videos on neat mds and the different kinds of guidances which are required and a lot of strategies also for competitive examination you can go ahead and watch that as well as if you find this uh, uh, video very valuable please leave a comment below and uh, have a good day and thank you for watching the video and all the best for your examination for more such videos, please like, share, follow and subscribe my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Have a good day. Thank you.